I've always loved experiences in music. You can use production and use these kind of tools in the studio to create a, a world. I find it psychedelic music and that level of production to be really cinematic, almost visual and visceral. You get to kind of lose yourself for a couple minutes and that's always been my favorite thing. My name's Gray Dugan and today we're going to be looking at five of my essential tracks. Alright, so number five is a track called Lens from my EP Decider. Lens was one of the first songs that really um, I kind of hit my stride, I think, in the creative process. And it was written and recorded in a time in which American politics was very much um, starting to heat up. No one seemed to be in agreement on anything. I mean, that's kind of a psychedelic experience in and of itself, not knowing what's right and what's wrong and what's true and what's false. And so that song was kind of my way of personally dealing with my own emotions. So I think the song kind of leans into that almost dreamlike uncertainty that I think a lot of people were faced with. Track number four is a song called Blue Blooded Bullshit from my newest EP, Furious Masters. I wrote this song a totally different way, just picking up an acoustic guitar and playing around and singing what came to me, I guess. It's the result of kind of uh, personal experiences with people in the city of Los Angeles. The term blue blood is used to describe kind of an aristocratic type of person who um, can be a little bit out of touch. I had just gone through a breakup. So it's sort of an exaggerated um, account of a relationship. When I first started writing, I relied a lot on production and reverb and echoes to kind of drown myself out, if you will, and I made a deliberate effort with this song to let myself and the things I was saying come to the forefront. I've picked the song Melt Away for my third essential track. I really wanted to do a kind of epic song with a lot of different parts, and I'm really, really proud of the way it turned out. My favorite musical moment that I've ever made is in this song. After the first chorus, there's an abrupt key change. I bring some strings in and some horns and really try and do a theatrical, cinematic experience. It's very Beatles influence. It's very uh, Magical Mystery Tour, Sgt. Pepper's era. The production and the way it sounds is, is very contemporary, but I'm very proud of the way it kind of uh, wears its influences on its sleeve. All right, track number two is a song called Complicated off of my EP Decider. This song is me unpacking some issues I had with communicating things with people and two people not really seeing eye to eye. You're saying something very simple and someone is seeing it as something else or something much more complicated than you're trying to say. Complicated has ended up being one of my favorite songs. Just a good combination of pop hooks and catchy choruses. I think it really does a good job of bridging that gap between something that is actually a song that people might want to listen to and also something personal that helps me get something off my chest and feel better about myself. Track number one of my most essential tracks ever is a song called Plant Sitting This Weekend. Why do I spend all this time just thinking to myself? Plant Sitting This Weekend was the first entirely original song I ever put out into the world. That song is really a fictional tale of asking a girl on a date and her coming up with the apparent excuse that she's busy plant sitting. It never happened to me, luckily, uh, but I think it's about kind of the lengths people will go to just string you along or, or not give you a straight up answer. 
I had been writing and recording um, all throughout high school, and I could not work up the courage to show it to anyone. Plant Sitting This Weekend, when I wrote it, immediately felt like something I was proud of and happy with, which was a kind of breakthrough. And to be met with great reception gave me the confidence to be able to kind of start that endeavor as an artist. Thank you everyone. Those have been my five essential tracks. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that I have too much fun making music to ever not do that. Yeah, I want to keep producing, keep writing, and hopefully keep creating more ambitious projects for people to listen to.